Alright, get these cameras on for the walk down. <laughs> this is making me nervous, all these people. Normally the car park's full of kayakers getting ready to go out. But today the car park's full of surfers. Sort of makes you nervous or something. Oh, what's the surf like over there? Is it that good, is it? <laughs> so, we'll see what it's like once we get over the ramp. Probably should lock the car though. Long feels like a long time ago since I've done this sort of uh, kayak run. So, let's get out there. Look, yeah, plenty of people watching surfers. God, how bad is the surf? I checked it yesterday, it didn't look that bad. I didn't think it was that big. <laughs> Maybe it's just good. All right, let's walk down. Let's see. What's that? Ah, oh, there's no surf. <laughs> It's fine. Oh, well, that looks like a very easy option. I think the thing is, every now and then a, a decent set comes in, but in between it, there's big lulls, so should be a very nice launch. Just catch my breath from the walk down there. What have we got to do? Undo the paddle leash and get moving, I guess. So it's been a while since I've had a video up. Time is just not there. One fishing time, like all the Noosa comp, unfortunately. For me, it was just a big blowout. It was very windy. And then, uh, look at that guy, he's looking at me. He's like, what's that guy doing, talking to himself? <laughs> but uh, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't really end up with a video at Noosa. All my cameras fogged up. It was very wet and windy. It got almost, almost dangerous. It was that windy. Look at that. What a beautiful gap. Probably should just get it going and talk and I'm out on the water setting up. Alright, let's do that. Ah oh, no, here's some of the surf that everyone's sort of looking at. So there is big surf, you just gotta be patient and wait for the gap because the waves that just rolled in then were actually pretty hefty. So I will have to concentrate at least a little bit. We'll get a little closer before we jump on. We'll try and time this right.
go. Now's my chance. Better hurry up though. up on me. That's a proper wave. Yeah. Which way? This way, in hurry. I think we made it. these cameras set up and then rods and wheels out my legs are dangling in the water now and it is toasty like 27 degrees toasty hat on let's get fishing got some nice baits slime is and gar should be definitely worth it just trolling baits it's about now this time in April that uh the wahoo turn up so We'll cut some laps and then go a little wider, see if we can find something special. Anyway, we'll get set up. Come on, trip. I need a good trip. Look at that sunrise. That's a very nice sunrise. Guess it'll bad April. You start getting these big pink sunrises. Put the last bait on, we're running with two slimies. Baits don't get much better than these bad boys, so hopefully two of these can do the trick. A mackerel straight off for a catch and cook. I've got a nice curry that I've been looking forward to doing. Been meaning to do this curry for a long time, but just have never got around to it. So, sort of got that earmarked for today, or tomorrow maybe, depending on <laughs> how the filming and editing goes. And depending on if I catch a fish in the first place, but if anything can do it, this slimy can, so see what happens. Wind's picking up a little bit, which is not nice. Ooh, look at that bit of swell. It's a big one. Okay. But, yeah, so hopefully these slimies do the trick. If anything, a spotty would be nice. Anything for the curry, and then after that, something special out wider. I've got faith in these little, uh, this sun, this pulsator skirt has been doing really well for me every time I come out recently, so stuck to what I know was working for me. Let's trail some dead baits, let's catch some fish. Okay, lines are out. I usually count maybe, let's say 20 seconds for the first one, and then the camera one, which is the heavier one, I count maybe 15 seconds. Give or take, depending on how many, give or take a few seconds, depending on how busy it is, if I'm going in amongst boats, or if I'm just trying to get those boats right out further. But usually the kayak's sort of part of the teaser more than anything, so it's not such a bad thing to have it close. All right, let's see how quickly we can get a fish. Yeah, 
Yeah, that wind is picking up a bit. But oh well. My dash, my hopes are going out really wide, but I've got faith. Stick around, there's got to be fish in this water. It feels like bath water. There's been lots of current ripping. The current is slow today, but over the last couple of days, there's big current moving in, pushing a lot of warm water in. Southerly blow. Everything's sort of aligned for a good fishy day. And even just this chop and wind picking up could also help, so stick around till tide change, which is not for another hour and a half or two hours. Hopefully we'll have a fish by then. There can't not be fish hanging around here. We've got good baits, good water. It's gonna happen. We're out a little bit wider, maybe midpoint. It is getting windy. I don't know if you can hear that when I move it away from my body, but yeah, it's pretty windy. Doesn't seem it, because I'm going, I'm getting blown with the wind now, so it seems sort of calm, but if I turn around, it'll be choppy and crazy. But yeah, I've been paying close attention to the weather. It seemed to drop off every morning for at least maybe an hour or two, but today it's picked up a little earlier. I don't think it's gonna get much worse, but I'll cut a loop, I'll cut some circles and reassess the wind. At least that way I'll get an idea of what it's like paddling in every direction. And then uh, if it seems reasonable, I'll keep out here. If not, I'll head in. There's no reason why there can't be fish here though, so it's just a bit windy. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> it's a bit bumpy. Anyway, yeah. Just one fish and maybe we'll head in. This has got a very tunery feel about it. <laughs> oh, could even be a snapper or something. It's so weird, it must have been sinking. Oh, here we go. Might put my legs in actually right now. Feeling a little unstable and it's pulling me back around the wrong way. Oh, please be a mackerel. Oh, it better not be a shark, that would be very disappointing. It's coming back towards me now though. Whatever it is. Oh, tell me it didn't get off. No, oh, it's still on. Or is it? What's going on? Did it get off? No. Is it off? No, it's still on. It just came all the way back towards me. Please be a Spanish. Well, it could be. What is that? Very bright colours. Oh, jeez. Oh, then again, it could be a mackerel. It's taking... Oh. It's undoing my reel. Straight down. What is this? <laughs> you got me confused. Completely confused. Okay, it's about 15 meters down. Let's, let's get this out of the way. Please don't be a mac tuna. I've had enough of those as well. Go back that way. It's definitely got some uh, colour to it. I don't think it is a shark actually. It's a mackerel. It's a Spanish. Is it, a Sp it is a Spanish. Jeez, and he's doing some weird head shakes. All right. Oh, I suppose we better get this out of the way and take this pretty serious. I don't think he's going to go through that line back there, so I can stay. And we're up to leader already. All right. Oh yeah, it's not a bad one either. Let's just get you closer here. Come on. Let's 
swim this way. <laughs> oh, he's gonna take off if I spear him right now, I reckon. Come on, let's gas him out a little bit more. Oh, all right. I've had quite a few Spanish do that kind of fight. It's not typical of them when you get them like higher up on the troll, but when you get them like when they're down deeper and you've got your base down deep, especially when you're doing live ears, I have actually had quite a few of these guys fight like that. So to come back to the boat, go down deep. I think it, maybe it's because I'm constantly lifting their head. They just keep, they don't know what to do. They don't know to do the big run. So it was an interesting kind of fight. Had me guessing. I thought tuna, I thought shark at the beginning. There's a very typical shark. Until, he, until I saw that nice bright silver colour, I wasn't confident of anything else except a shark. But this is a good fish. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Curry tonight. Big fish. That's a good result. Man, I have been working hard for this fish. A few trips. I'm terribly windy. Look at that. That is a beautiful fish. Finally a video. Now I gotta go home and edit this sucker. And then we'll cook a delicious curry tonight. Maybe, maybe if I'm hardcore, I'll try and get two videos up this week. Well, the wind is definitely back. All right. I think it's time to call it.